friends, today I'm going to read the second chapter of Fantastic Mr. Fox by Quentin Bakes, illustrated by Quentin Bakes. So let's start. Uh, so here is it. Mr. Fox, on the hill above the valley, there was a wood. In the wood was a large, huge tree. Under the tree was a hole. In the hole lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and their four small foxes. Every evening, as soon as the as it got dark, Mr. Fox would say to Mrs. Fox, Well, my darling, what shall be today? A plump, plump chicken from Bogus, a duck or a goose from Buns, or a nice piece of turkey for, from Beans. And when Mrs. Mrs. Fox had told him what she wanted, Mr. Fox would creep, creep down the woods into the valley in the darkness and help himself. Bogus went and knew. Bogus went and knew very well what was going on in, and it made them wild and rage. There were there were non men who liked to give everything else and let's still they did like like anything to be stolen from them so every night each of them would take their shoot guns and hide behind the duck pieces somewhere on his way to the farm hoping to catch the robber but mr fox was too clever for him uh, took a level for him I think. He was always approaching a farm with wild wind blowing in his face. And this meant that if any man was lurking in the shadow ahead, the wind would carry the smell of man to Mr. Fox's nose from far away. Thus, if Bogus was hiding behind his chicken house number one, Mr. Mr. Fox would smell him out from the from fifty yards up and quickly change his direction, heading for Chicken House Number Four at the other end of the farm. Dan Blast, the la- lovely describer. I would like to drip his gut. Um, said Brown. I will. He must be killed. Said Bean. But how? Said Bogus. How on earth can we catch that blitter? Beans pick up his nose directly out of the way. I haven't planned, he said. You never have a decent plan, said Brown. Shut up. And I said, said Bean, tomorrow night we will go all hug, hide behind the hole where Mr. Fox lives. We will wait till he comes out and then bam, bam, bam. Very clever, said Bounce. But first we shall have to find the hole. My dear Bounce, I already found it," said Crafty Bean. "It's up the wood. It's up the wood on the valley. It's under a huge tree." So, uh, this was the second chapter. And if you like my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And bye. Also, uh, look, I have this background. I was just making it for. Uh, I have to. Do some preparation for school. Tomorrow is school. Because today is Saturday. Bye. And my... The Steve Brook never came up. The Steve Brook never came up. And this is Steve. And the Steve has broke. And bye.